50, 60 years ago, ladies and gentlemen, cinema and films as a profession was something that was considered infra dig. Families uh, from good homes and their children were never allowed to join the profession, uh, let alone go to a cinema to see a film. I remember in my younger days, my own parents, when I desired to see a film, would go and vet the film before and then allow us to go and see the film. But today we stand here today at a very momentous occasion to find that cinema and film and entertainment has become an academic curriculum in this very prestigious Mumbai University. And I want to congratulate the Vice Chancellor and all those connected with today's occasion. All the very best. Thank you so much, sir. But I just look and hear upon all this with a great amount of envy because in my years when I was wanting to join the film industry, I never had occasion to um, join any of these institutes. As Ramesh Ji was saying, we learned the craft and are still learning it by being on set and there was never any kind of formal education. I feel very honored to be here today at the inauguration of this institute which is going to formally train and educate youngsters and the youth of our country in the art of cinema and entertainment. Sir, you asked me to be here um, as, a, as a lecturer for one of the classes that we're going to be holding here. I guarantee you that I will most certainly be here. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, not as someone who's going to teach, but I would like to be here as a student because I'm sure that there will be a lot for me to learn from the kind of curriculum that has been designed by the advisory board. I'm particularly happy that this academy is being headed by Mr. Ramesh Sippi. Ramesh ji and I have spent many years together and we've worked in several films. A lot of them have been quite momentous, not just for the industry in general, but for me personally as an artist. And the one thing that I've always noticed about Ramesh ji is his penchant for detail and not giving up anything until he has the perfect shot, the perfect moment in cinema, and he will not stop until that moment is achieved. I also want to tell all the students uh, that are going to be joining this academy that Ramesh ji is um, a great motivator. He's a wonderful technician, a teacher, who takes care of his students. He takes care of his artists on the sets. He will provide you the perfect atmosphere before enacting any sequence. He will sit with you, he will talk to you, he will describe, he will ask you questions, he will take some of your words of inspiration or whatever you felt about the scene, he will discuss it, debate it, and in most occasions, incorporate it according to what the artist may have said. These are wonderful qualities, and I feel this only goes in the making of better cinema, or creating a situation in a film that has the contribution of not just the director and the writer, but also the artist's concern. I wish you all the very best, Ramesh ji. It's been a great privilege, and I think that this initiative is going to go a long way in not just creating what Mr. Kulkarni described as a very important element for cinema in our country, and to make this country, uh, which is the largest movie-making um, nation in the entire world, also become the largest earner of uh, export, in a sense. We have the United States of America, where cinema, perhaps many do not know, is the second largest export earner for the United States of America after aeroplanes. If we are the largest filmmaking nation in the entire world, we should be the largest earning member in export for this great nation. I just want to say that the initials of the academy read RSACA. There's already an ace in this academy, and I'm sure that Ramesh Sippi will live up to it. A very warm welcome to you to this historic moment of launching a joint activity of academic nature for the first time in the city of Mumbai. 
the University of Mumbai was established in 1857 and this year we are celebrating 160 years of our excellence. The University of Mumbai is planning a major program of 3,000 crores plus infrastructure development in this very campus of the University of Mumbai and we are preparing our master plan for this development and one of the buildings in this campus I would like to see established as Ramesh Sippi Academy of Film and Entertainment. A training program in cinema and entertainment is yet another field the Garware and the university wish to make available to our student community. Now I'd like to invite Sri Ashish Kulkarni, advisory board member, RSAs, to share with us an overview of the entertainment landscape. Being a founder member of Media and Entertainment Skill Council, we did a, the skill gap analysis and realized that 97% of the existing workforce in the media and entertainment have never gone to the formal education. They have always worked and learned on job. More so, it was a unique feature to find out that 95% of our workforce are all self-employed. They actually hone their skills. They come, to, come together to make a project like a film or television show or animation show or a gaming show. And then they are again on their own. They again reunite for some other project. It's a very unique feature. And knowing this, giving a formal education, most of the universities didn't understand quite a few things when I told them that if my actor is going to actually write a three-hour exam at the end of the year, he's bound to fail. If my compositor is going to write a three-hour exam, he's going to fail. We need 80% of practical and performance-oriented evaluation and only 20% of the theoretical evaluation. And mind you, it's a big struggle even today. There are only few universities who came up to 60% of evaluation like that and 40% in theory. But with Garware, we just had an academic council member and I'm very, very happy to tell you, as a starting step, we are proposing to start 75% evaluation on performance and 25% only on the theory. And it's a big, big achievement right in the city of Mumbai where the industry right is in Andheri and the university campus is in Santa Cruz and it cannot get better. What we have put together in the last one and a half years of hard work, five degree programs which will be told to you. At the same time, we've also put together 20 programs which are short term programs which the industry working professionals can also hone their skills and take that to the next level. The same thing when we started discussing is the design-led production and the design-led solutions. And that's where we realized that India, as much as any other country, requires more than 40 design schools. And one such proposition which is there with uh, our Vice Chancellor right now, which was designed by me, is to start a design school uh, which will address most of the problems that society is facing, including the institutional design and the, the whole family design and the communication design and many, many others. And that's why we actually do a design-led education process and include festivals, and that's one of the reasons. There are many festivals that happens in Mumbai. We have Mumbai International Film Festival, we have MAMI, we have uh, many uh, other festivals, we have Fiki Frames. We would collaborate with each one of them so that the students uh, get to interact very closely with the industry and make sure that they're part of the ecosystem and the whole geography and the vicinity of these two areas would enable us to do that. Having done this, we really would like to see that as we grow further, the Mumbai University actually would implement a master plan and when it comes to 50 years celebration of Shole, I think we all be, will be here to actually celebrate in a big studio which the University of Mumbai will have by then because the department would have grown in the next eight years. Thank you very much for coming here, and thanks a lot for the great joint venture. With more than 800 television channels and more than 800 feature films that are made in this country every year, there is vast opportunity for people, skilled people, to get jobs and have a livelihood. We're going to provide a curriculum which blends theory and hands-on training. We will actually have almost 70 or maybe 75% of practical training 
and the rest of it will be theory. University of Mumbai's Garware Institute of Career Education and Development and Ramesh Sippy Academy of Cinema and Entertainment will offer five full-time degree programs to begin with. Besides the education, your sense, keenness, your observation will take you a long way. The best in each field will always be those who put their heart and soul in it. And that will be told to you, but you have to find it in yourself. The rest we can help you with very well here. a scholarship in the name of my grandfather, Mr. G.P. Sippy, who brought our family here, and hopefully we can continue to make this family of the film industry grow with that. There's be one young lady and one man will be getting a full scholarship to this uh, university in, in order to pursue their dreams and hopefully enrich our industry and our business in the years to come. this course and get a degree on top of that. and Garwar is on, online also, all the best. It's a wonderful, wonderful idea that a city institute is linked to the university and these studies are now being incorporated.
wish that we had things like this when we were youngsters with the opportunity to actually have a degree program at the Bombay University under the ages of someone like Mr. Ramesh Sippy who as we know is one of the uh, most uh, successful directors in Indian cinema and frankly one of the most path breaking directors in Indian cinema and uh, you know for students to have the opportunity to learn under his guidance I think is a tremendous tremendous initiative. Ramesh Sippy Academy of Cinema and Entertainment RSAs he is passing down not just education, but a treasure trove of knowledge with a deep-rooted legacy.